Hi guys and welcome to another nail video. So this week I'm just going to grab a few things and what will be will be. Um, I grabbed these from outside and then I put them in this bag, stuck them in the fridge and they are still, some of them are still okay. I don't know how many of these I will get to use because these, these white ones look really nice in a bunch but when you start breaking them down all the, the petals aren't there so I don't know how many I'm going to get out of there. These flowers, uh, I really don't know where I got them from. It might have been eBay, I don't know. So I've put one in there and then I've just broke a little one up to get some of the leaves off. I'm going to use some nail guards today. This is what the packet looks like. Um, my mum got them off at, uh, Amazon. If you just put in Amazon Dashing Diva nail guards, you'll find them. And these are the things that I use when I don't want to keep the nails on. I'm also using full nails today. These are from MacArt. I'm going to start trying to say it properly now because people keep pulling me up on it. I know it's not Mark Art, but I just keep on saying it. It's MacArt. And these are the uh, nail pump ups, the full nails that I'm using. When me and my husband went camping, we found this really weird shop. I've got these real gemstones. I've also got two shark teeth, which I will use in the future, but I just don't know how to use them just yet because them nails I want to keep. Um, so these are, I separated them. These are all the big stones. And then in this little pot is all the little stones. So I might incorporate them with them as well. I might be using these, I don't know, uh, and some beads when I can pull my finger out and find out where they are. I've just got to find out what glitters I'm using. I think I'm going to try this one as a nail bed. This is from Model Ones and it was just, it was out of one of the kits that, that I tried. And it's like, a, a, it's got like, what is it? Sheer pink? I think, not sheer. It, anyway, it's got little things in it. I can't remember what it's called. Oh my God! Anyway, which is what it is. I'm sure you know. And screaming it down the computer what you're watching this on. Anyway, I'm just going to find some other bits and pieces to go with this and then I will let you know what I'm doing next with these. Alright, so I've picked these out, what I'm going to use. I'm not going to use this as my nail bed. I've got another idea for this. So the other things are, they're all Phoenix glitter. I think I'm going to be using these. These are called the candy collection. Nope. I'm going to be using Dory. This one is Purple Fix. Nope. Carnation. And for my nail bed, I'm going to be using Blush. Nope. So I'm just going to tidy my cuticles up a little bit and then I'll come back and show you how I apply the nail guards when I don't want to keep the nails on. But I'll also give you advice on how to use them if you do want to keep your nails on. Okay, so I have got some nail polish top coat. Any will do. This one's from W7. This one's quite thick, and it, or is it quite thin? The the best one I use if you do, if you don't want to keep them on is one the the top coat by Barry M. But I haven't got any of that left. Okay, so this one isn't very thick. All right. So if you wanted to keep the nails on, but what use nail guards? Do your nails, you know, your, your cuticles. And then rub the get the shine off your natural nail and then just put these on as normal so do your cuticles get the shine off your natural nails apply these i'll show you how, how you apply them in a minute um, and then stick the nails on with glue then will last a good if you look after them a week five seven days something like that so because i don't want to keep them on i'm going to put three coats of this on i'm not going to i'm keeping the shine on my nail 
I'm going to put three coats of this on and let it dry in between. Then I'm going to put the, the nail guards on and glue the nails to it. Alright, so for this part you'll need some scissors. So how you put these on, they come like that, so that comes off and then that's sticky underneath. So place it on, try do it right. And press it down. And that bit comes off. And then you get your scissors. And then cut round where the nail tip is. And then that is the nail guard on. And then you just put the glue on the tip and then just put the tip on. So I'm using Neo's glue because this one isn't as strong as Born Pretty. This, as I've said before, is like industrial strength glue. It's ridiculous. It, so anything you took, you put this on a nail, put, in, put the tip on, like when, when I use tips, and if you get it wrong, you, you, just, you just knack it because you can't get it off. I've never, 13 years, I've never had glue like this. It's, it's crazy. At least with Neo's glue, if you, you know, get a little bit wrong, you can take the nail back off again. It, you know, it gives you a few seconds to put things right. I've never known glue like it. I'm gonna put this on where my thumbnail would be. And then put that on like so, just hold it there. So if you start from the back and then push up to the tip, then you shouldn't get any bubbles in it. There, it's stuck on. So I'm going to do that with the rest of them now. So with my first finger, I'm going to do like a side swipe of a nail bed. My second finger, I'm just going to do it fading down. I'm going to do a normal nail bed on my ring finger. And then the, the my pinky and thumb, I'm just going to do as whole nails. Okay, I've changed my mind with the nail bed. I'm going to use pink lace instead of the blush because it's slightly a little bit darker than the blush.
so with this dory I'm gonna do another side swipe up to my first finger isn't that gorgeous oh my god look at that wow and then I'm going to do the purple along the bottom in a side swipe as well going the same way So the carnation that I'm going to be putting on at the bottom, I think will be you'll be able to see through it a little bit. So I'm going to put the pink on from Model 1's first, just a thin layer of that. And then I'm going to put the carnation on top and hopefully it'll be a bit more opaque. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is get the small flowers that I got from outside but do, and I'm going to apply them but I'm going to put some uh, base coat down to make sure that they hold and then we, because the base coat's sticky, well, okay, when I've done the flowers I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds and because the base coat is sticky then I'm just going to add some Cosmic Delight which I've decided that uh, something else I'm going to use just little tiny bits here and there just so it's just something else on the nail rather than just being completely see-through and then when I'm happy with that I'll encapsulate everything on that nail So I'm going to do the same thing with my second finger. I'm going to put the base coat on and I'm going to go on to the bigger flowers now. I think on my ring finger I'm going to put some of the stones down instead of another flower.
So I'm wanting to use a solid purple. So I know model ones have never got a number on it, but I'm using number 34. So what I'm gonna do on my pinky and thumb is put the, the blue at the top and then blend it in with the purple. And if I can't blend it in very well, then I'll put some of this in to blend it, this carnation, just to blend it in a little bit. Um, and then it will go from there. So before I encapsulate that, I'm gonna see if one of some of these flowers don't well, let me get you out a bit. Some of these flowers don't make it too bulky. By the way, I'm changing that nail. It is massively bulky. Just look at that. It's massive, so I'm gonna do it now. So I'm gonna take that off. See how it just comes off like that. Uh chuck that away, and then I'm just going to apply another nail. I think I've got an idea what I'm gonna do with that, so <laughs> looks really weird. So I'm just going to wait for this to completely dry or else it'll move around and then I'll just pick a bunch of these flowers like that one maybe and take them across like that but we'll see. We'll see if it'll look nice. All right I've changed my mind. I'm not going to do that with my little finger. I'm just going to encapsulate that and I might put the flowers on my thumb because obviously my thumb's a little bit bigger but I might put some crystals or something on my uh, pinky so I'm going to do the same on my thumb as you've seen and then uh, I'll put the flowers on there all right so I'm gonna get this one if I can find my tweezers oh that sounds like a trump but it wasn't it was my chair oh my god so I can't remember where I had these from but they're really pretty all right, so I'm just going to put it in the middle. And I'm going to put the edge of that flower on the edge of here. And press it down. Oh, look how pretty. And that's nice. And I've got the blue up there and the, the purple flower down here to match the purple. Oh, I like that. Okay, wow, all right. Well, that nail's done now, so I'm just going to encapsulate that one as well. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do with my second finger is to put the nail bed down and just fade it into nothing. And then I think I'm going to get one of them flowers that I put on my thumb, put it on my finger and then put some glitter and put some beads around it and see how that looks. Because uh, I'm struggling with this one, I'm not going to lie, because I was like getting inspiration off somebody but that went out the window when the flower didn't work. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so before I put some top coat on, I'm gonna get some white gel polish and a thin 
longish brush and I'm going to put some lines here and there and then I'm going to get some crystals after I put the top coat on. Okay, so now that's done, it's top coat time. I'm excited about this. So I'm gonna use Phoenix Glitters, uh, no wipe top coat. I'm gonna, I'll put a layer there on, I'm gonna cure it for 60 seconds. And then let's put some crystals on and let's see what these nails look like. Oh my God, I've been at them for hours. Alright guys, well they're all the nails all done. I really, really like them three. Well, you can see through them. You can't really see some of the the stones that I did because they were see-through. I don't know what made me think that they would look good on a see-through nail, but there you go. But yeah, it was just an experiment to see if I could use these stones in, in a nail design. These flowers have gone really peculiar. There's one that stopped the right colour and it's that one. But all the others have like gone different colours and I think I've got a bubble there, I think that's a bubble uh, but yeah at least I know now I can encapsulate some wild flowers as well. So I think this experiment went pretty well to be honest. I really like the colours that um, I chose. I, I will also put the picture of the person, I don't know who it is again, I just took a snapshot as I was trolling through Instagram. So if anybody knows who did these nails originally, please let me know and I'll stick it in the um, description box. But them are the nails I come up with. But I want to put top coat on that other flower because I want to know what that looks like. So as you can see, it's uh, quite bulky and there was no way I could have done anything with it because if I started filing into this bit you're gonna be filing into the flower so there was no way I could have done that but I still want to put top coat on and see what it looks like. So I think if I could have done it a little bit better that would look so cool. I mean look at them with the leaves and stuff. That looks so pretty. It was just a little bit too bulky where I put it but and I don't know how this girl got her nails so straight. Yeah anyway it is what it is. Oh I've lost one. Come on just for, please just stay there. Just stay don't move. Just till I finish the video. Alright guys as I said I will try and put the links in the description box as much as I can do with things. 
other than that guys i really hope you enjoyed this week's video thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye guys all right so for them who've hung around to see i will take the nails off so these should be pretty easy to take off see just like that Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Lovely. And then how I clean my nails is just getting some pure acetone and a cotton pad. Stick some acetone on. Just give it a rub on the nail and it all comes off. Good as new. Just this, this part was just in case anybody wanted to watch to see how I got the nails off. And now uh, you get everything off, which is like this. And there we go.